Hey, Advanced Chem, it's Ms. Brecker. Uh, so I thought I'd give you a kind of a fun day here on the 17th Friday um, for you to do some uh, at-home labs. So something I thought that would be um, kind of fun. So let me show you what I'd like you to do. All right, so it's called At Home Forensic Labs. Uh, so I found some stuff online, um, things that you could possibly do at your home. Um, and I only want you to do one of these. So there are three options. Uh, two are fingerprinting, and then the other one is what we call ink analysis. Um, and there is a, a set of a slide that I want you just to put your name on and post a video or a picture of what you're doing. Um, and this is, uh, <clears throat> just to give you an experience of doing fingerprinting and also ink analysis, which we would have done at school if we were at school. So the first option for fingerprinting is for you to develop essentially dusting powder. And so I found this a uh, very easy video uh, where you're going to take a balloon and put it over a candle and eventually get some soot. Um, so that you could brush it on a latent print. And so what you could do is once you have created the soot, you could then wipe the side of your nose, that's where you're gonna find the most um, oil. Um, and then you're gonna press it on a plastic container, probably a water bottle or something. Um, and then you're gonna take the soot and brush it on the plastic container. What you should start to see is your fingerprint start to appear. And then you're gonna pay, uh, take some packing, packing tape if you have it at home, put it over the print and see if you could rip it off the plastic bottle and put it on a piece of paper and see if you could see, is it a whirl, is it a loop, is it an arch? Um, what does your fingerprint show you there? Um, so that's one option. Option two uh, is a little less involved. What you could take and watch the video um, is you could take a pencil and really uh, scrub it into one place. And so you basically build up a buildup of the um, graphite. And so what you're gonna do is then take the, uh, your finger and rub it on the pencil that you have just uh, rubbed really strongly on a piece of paper and then put it uh, a piece of tape on your finger and then see if you could extract it off of your finger and put it on a new piece of paper and see if you could see the world the loop the arch or whatever you happen to see um, and then the third option um, maybe you can or cannot do this um, it's ink analysis for a black pen um, and uh, we were going to do this in school. Uh, we were going to have this part of our crime scene. Um, so it is exactly what we did with the dyes before, um, but instead you're going to be using a black pen. Um, so you need a coffee filter, and that's my only big question mark, is, is some of you don't have coffee makers at home. Um, you may not have a coffee filter. I tried it with a paper towel. It doesn't work with a paper towel. Um, so um, if you do have these supplies, you could definitely do it. Um, what I show you, um, all you gotta do is cut the, coffee, cut the coffee filter into a strip and then uh, put a dot on um, the line that you draw about a centimeter from the bottom, put a little water into a cup or a glass that you can put a pencil on the top and then put a paper clip to kind of hold it. Um, and I show you a, a video of this so you could kind of see and then what you should get is um, the black ink should elude out different colors. And so you could kind of see, I took this, this is on my kitchen countertop. Um, you could see that this was a, it started as a black pen. You could watch my video. Um, and then I let it elude up. And so that's the line that I drew at the top. So just like we did at school. So pick one of these, uh, take a picture of it, take a video of it. Um, if you find a better way of doing fingerprinting or something else out there, then share it with me. Um, again, I'm just trying to do something fun and interactive um, that would be forensic related. So uh, next week, I will then also give you another video of the next project we're going to do. We're going to focus on DNA, um, which I think would be kind of cool to do. Uh, so again, have a little fun with this and post your pictures or videos.